as we always know, and we can't run away from it, and you can get how old I, guess how old I am, and we all have an age. But the really, really good news today is that we actually have two ages. And one we can change. We can actually uh, manipulate that. It's an elastic age. You can feel and look younger or older than you are. It's what you would call a biological or metabolic age. And that's the one I'd like to talk to you about today. And I'd also love to show you about power foods, superfoods, what they do for your health. I'll try and do this over here, Now, these are some of the signs that you are actually, that we are older than our age. And you will recognize some of them. I think we all recognize some of them. Let's face it, we're all human. Um, but there are quite a few things we can do about it. And I think that's what's so exciting. So we can manipulate our age, we can mold the way we feel and look by what we eat and what we drink and our lifestyle. So Hippocrates, who was the founder of Western medicine, he was the founder of Western medicine, he said, let thy food be thy medicine. So he started out by saying, let your food be your medicine. And I think that's where I'm trying to get back to today, that through food, special foods, we can actually change the way we feel and look and optimize things. There are some things that we can do to shave off years and how we feel and look. One of those things are about how many green vegetables you eat. But it's really hard to eat 600 grams. That's almost a pound and a half. That's quite hard to do every day, but that's where the superfoods come in. Those foods that are really condensed, they have an enormous amount of nutrients compared to their weight. And I'll talk to you more about that. Sugar, yeah, I'll be the first one to say that I think really likes the sugary things, sweet things, but actually, they are really quite damaging, and I know that you will know that from us elsewhere, but I actually like to call it the white death, because it kills cells. So it is actually related to cell death, death, and it's related to obviously being hyper, but having these big swings, which then manipulates and changes your mood, the way you sleep, the way you feel, and also the dullness in your skin, all of those things. The other thing is uh, the supplements that you take. So there are certain supplements that are really good to take. For example, if you are really fatigued, like uh, you have even ME, or um, you're feeling extremely tired, then sometimes it's not enough to do it through superfoods. Most of the time it is, but if, but if you're having those conditions, actually B supplements are really good. I'll explain a bit more about what that means. Omega-3 oils, it is literally like oil in the machinery. We should always have Omega-3 oils. And it's not just like little capsule, not these little tiny, wincy little synthetic capsules. They don't do anything, they're too small. You need like a good uh, spoonful. I personally do that every day. If you do omega-3 oils, you can eliminate a whole number of diseases as much as is possible, because obviously there's something called chance. You know, we can only be unlucky and get something, um, some illness. But really, you can be in control as much as possible if you take omega-3 oils. And I put a little note on your, on your chair where you can put in your email address, your name and email address. And if you do that, I will also follow up and I will let you know where you can buy some of these things from. Um, and you can also get a presentation and so on. Omega-3 oils is exactly directly related to um, cancers, to uh, blood diseases, to um, the blood pressure, but also to, for example, Parkinson's and all sorts of illnesses. If you've got enough omega-3 in your body, suddenly you can eliminate those. And it's actually the ratio between omega-3 and 6 that matters. And omega-6 is the kind of oil you get from margarines and cheap oils, frying oils. And you should always avoid them. And the omega-3 oils are those that you have from fish and from flaxseed oil. And it is the ratio between the two. So actually, when we were living in nature a long time ago, <laughs> we actually had a ratio of one to one. Now the ratio can be skewed as much as 20 to one. So we have 20 times more omega-6 than we have omega-3. And that's when the breast cancers come in. That's when the Parkinson's come in. That's when all of those things come in, because the body just can't take it. Because of course, it's all about the cell, the cell membrane. 
and how the oils in that cell membrane is, is balanced. So we go straight in and, and, and ruin things that way. I don't need to talk to you about smoking and things like that. One thing I want to, see, to talk to you about is the amalgam, the, the fillings in your teeth. I don't know if some of you still have amalgam in your teeth. I used to have quite a lot of them. And then I'm in this great position where I'm, sometimes I share the stage with, with really experienced people. And uh, there was a Dr. Raoul once. He has the uh, Hippocrates Center, no, the, the Paracelsus Center in Switzerland. So he's the owner of the Paracelsus uh, Center in Switzerland. And they treat tens of thousands of people with extremely difficult and progressed diseases. And one of the first things he does is he asks, have you got the Malcolm fillings or the Malcolm fillings in your teeth? And he's got a set of dentists there and they take them out there and then. Because they he has found a correlation between the fillings in your teeth and cancers. So you need the white fillings. So really I would recommend that you think about that. If you have any, then I would absolutely recommend you get them taken out by your, by your dentist. Um, and then of course, stress and sleep. Absolutely related to how old you feel and look. Um, let's see if I can do it, yeah. Now, the sort of things that I'm gonna be, this, the things that I'm going to talk about here, this is not really rocket science. I'm not trying to, you might learn one or two things here, but the main thing I hope to do is to inspire you. So that you really go home and do these things. Let's say one, two, or three of these things. That's what I would really love to see happening today. Because none of what I'm going to say, truth, I always find truth is actually normally really simple. You know, truth is not complicated. And it's very easy to learn and think about. But the real challenge is, do we actually do it? And yesterday, my presentation, um, yeah, uh, I, I asked my, my, myself the question, you know, I have a 14-year-old son, wow. And I've got all these fantastic superfoods in the kitchen and oils and all of these things, amazing. But so what? The question is, does he actually take it? If he doesn't actually take it into his body, it doesn't matter that I've got them in the kitchen. And I ask you the same question. So it's what we actually do that matters. Water. I want to talk to you about water. Water is, in fact, a really effective antihistamine. It's one of the most anti, most most effective antihistamines that there are. So if you've got hay fever or any other things, do drink your water. So water is extremely effective in healing, and it's free. But we forget to drink it. <laughs> it's almost quite curious, and I'll be the first one to say that I also forget. <laughs> so have a bottle with you and drink a liter to a liter and a half a day, or a liter and a half to two liters a day and you will be really hydrated, which means you will not have the kind of digestive issues that you might have now or that might, I might have had. It's extremely good for digestive issues. It's extremely effective for energy. Skin, if you drink enough water, if we drink enough water, we just won't look so tired and so we won't have the same kind of wrinkles. But also, a hydrated cellular cell cells are just so healthy for diseases. You know, you will just, avoid an enormous amount of problems by drinking enough water. And in the beginning you go to the toilet, it can be a little bit annoying, but it's only the first four days maybe. And then actually the cells retain the water, and you will have all of this energy and you won't be going to the toilet. You just feel really hydrated. All of these things, you if you did these things here, you would shave 10 years off your age in how you feel and how you look, just like that. The other thing I want to mention is vitamin D. Vitamin D, we have a, there's an epidemic of vitamin D deficiency. We just don't have enough vitamin D. And it goes for all different skill, uh, skin tones. We're just not out in the sun as much as we should be. And we're told that we should always have the block, you know, sun, sun block and so on and so on. So I absolutely recommend to take a supplement of vitamin D. Vitamin D is linked to energy, so a whole lot of things, really kind of serious diseases if you have a deficiency over a long time period. It's not worth it. So, and you need about, um, yeah, I said about 600 or 1,000 IU. You can even have a supplement for 2,000, which is also fine. 
Melatonin is interesting. As we get older, melatonin is something you naturally produce in your body, but as we get older, we have less and less of it. That's why we sleep less well the older we get. But we can, you can buy it. You can actually buy melatonin because it's something that your body will produce and you, you can buy it. And again, I would urge you to write down your, your email, your name and email, and I will send out where you can buy this from. So I sometimes take melatonin and it's a natural, complete natural. It's not sleeping pills because you don't want that. You want the natural stuff. And it's amazing. And it also helps with mood, helps with energy. So, and I mentioned just uh, menopause here because it's uh, again related obviously to, 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 to the women here. Again, in a way of uh, avoiding the side effects is, is, is these, these things. Now, I'd like to move over to some of the solutions now. And superfoods, uh, what they really are. So superfood is actually a, a highly concentrated natural food. So for example, a carrot is not a superfood, but it's very healthy. It's got lots of nice vitamin A's in it, but it's not it's not concentrated. You have to eat an enormous amount of carrots to get enough vitamin C. An apple is, is really healthy and I absolutely advocate apples. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I really love apples, but it's not a superfood. It has a lot of vitamins in it. What I, what I recommend for superfood foods are some of the berries. I have some products with berries in. For example, pomegranate. That's an excellent superfood. It has an enormous amount of nutrients for a very small, small volume. So you take one pomegranate and suddenly you're covered for the whole of the day with all of the nutrients you need. The same thing with wheatgrass juice. And this is, of course, my absolute love, my love number one. And it's the number one superfood because it has so many nutrients in it. So it has, um, and I've got to put this thing down. So the wheatgrass juice is what nutritionists and health practitioners call the number one superfood. And you can see how dark green it is, almost black. That's the chlorophyll. And there's a really interesting fact about chlorophyll, the dark colour in plants, that is almost identical to our blood. The only real difference at a molecular level is that the essential molecule in chlorophyll is magnesium. But in our blood it's iron. That's actually the only difference when you believe it. You know the saying that we're one with nature? Yeah, we are actually. We are so close to nature, we just don't quite always appreciate it. But imagine, so you take chlorophyll and you're right there almost at, at the blood level. So that's why it's so effective for health. But it's obviously also very effective for magnesium. It has 91 minerals. You only need, I think, about 104, 106 in your body. And it has 91 of them. The reason why we freeze our juice, so this is, how many people know about wheatgrass? You know quite a lot about wheatgrass? Yeah. So I'll just explain a little bit. It is actually the grain from wheat. It is the wheat plant. But we put it into the ground, and we're the only company in, in Europe, and therefore in the UK, to grow it outside in real soil. So organic soil, so the roots go all the way into the soil for two to three months, and then it picks up all of the, all of the minerals from the organic soil. So it's, it has 91 minerals, and as part of that, when we freeze it, we then juice it, and it's the plant. There's no gluten, no wheat, because it's the plant when it's about this high. It's way before it develops the corn, where then you then make it into bread. So it's just the green plant. It just happens to be exceptionally nutritious, extremely nutritious. So we squeeze the juice out, and then we put it into the, to the little sachet, and we instantly freeze it. And the reason why we freeze it is so then it becomes live. It is as if you juiced it yourself. It has all of the enzymes, well not all of them, so it has over 80 enzymes in it. So it's just as if you juice it yourself. When you freeze something, all of the, all of the, um, the processes that break down products and your natural ingredients stop. That's why it's actually healthier to buy snap frozen peas than to buy peas that have been lying in the supermarket for several days because it's actually not fresh anymore, but the snap frozen it is. So that's quite interesting. And while we freeze it, we actually get everything. So that's why we do that. So, and it talks about B vitamins. And really interestingly, and this is kind of really a super thing. So one of these sachets, if you compared it to broccoli, would be the same as three heads of broccoli, or a pound and a half. 
So it's an enormous amount. You imagine eating three heads of broccoli every day raw. Whoa. The energy you get. I mean, look at me. You know, so yeah, I'm, I never have any caffeinated drinks. I'm actually just not tired because you take one of those a day, you just get all like an infusion of nutrients, just like that. That's why it really works. Now, I can't claim all of these things because I'm not allowed. These are all based on research, scientific research, of where they found wheatgrass helps because of all of these things that are in, in the wheatgrass. So I have an enormous amount of people with digestive problems. Many, many of our clients have got digestive problems. Really severe as well sometimes. And what we're finding is they take wheatgrass and within six to eight weeks, they actually don't have the symptoms anymore. Wheatgrass is very, very good at repairing the skin. They don't exactly know why. It might be because of the high protein level. We're not, we're not actually sure why. The research hasn't quite found this, this reason. But of course, as you know, skin is our biggest organ. If you stretch it out here, we're huge. Because it's inside our nose, it's in our mouth, it's around every single cell, every single tissue. Of course, the whole intestinal tract, the whole intestine is, is all skin, isn't it? So it goes in and repairs the skin, also in the intestines. And so we sound it's very good against ulcers, but also any digestive problems. Inflammation is interesting. Inflammation might be a word you've heard several times. Actually, inflammation is one of the causes of illnesses. It's, yeah, you can sometimes have inflammation on the skin and you'll see it, but you can also have inflammation inside your body and you just don't know. And inflammation is, can really do cause cell death. And I should just mention this, this is really interesting. Our body is literally a walking miracle. We might forget about it, but it actually is. It's amazing. Every second of every minute of every hour of every day is repairing you at a cellular level. We also have diseases at a cellular level. Cells that are uh, either uh, 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 ill and are not functioning well, cells that are malignant, malignant with cancers, or cells that just die, or different inflammations on the cells. This happens all the time to all of our bodies. The difference is that it repairs itself. Our body will go in and repair itself all the time. All the time, and we won't even know. It just happens just like that. But there's one condition for that to happen, and that is that we give our bodies enough nutrients. Because the nutrients is the building stones for the body to do these things. So for example, and I should just say immediately, if you like, if you have any questions, please, I love to be interrupted. So just ask me anything you like. I love to be interrupted. So whatever questions you have, please ask. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, the gentleman asked to say, we've got all of the vitamins in the wheat grass juice, apart from vitamin D, and that's absolutely correct. So you saw all the nutrients, and he's, and he's asking how much it costs. I will get to the price. We have very special uh, offers today, where so one little sachet costs just a pound. Normally it's 49 pounds when you buy a bag online with us. Uh, today we have a very special price, so it's 30 pounds. So one pound per, per sachet. And we also have a juice club. I'll explain that later. We have a juice club if you want it regularly delivered. So long-term benefits, and then it's, it's even cheaper, and you get an extra bag for free. I'll explain a bit about the prices later. Yeah. So um, the lady asks, so what's the difference between dried and juice? That's really interesting, and it's actually really simple. You imagine having a fresh apple, and you eat that, and it's full of zest. It's like the best. It's nature. Then you, try, you imagine it dried and powderized. That's exactly the difference. What would you rather have? A dried, powderized apple, a bit of powder apple? Or do you want the real thing? That's exactly the difference. So yeah. Dry powder rice is good for you, but can you even call it an apple anymore? <laughs> it's certainly not live. It doesn't have a zest, and I bet it won't do you the same good. And, and it won't because it's not live. It's, it does not to say that it doesn't have vitamins and minerals in it. It does, but it's completely different from an actual apple. It's exactly the same with wheatgrass. So ours is freshly juiced, instantly frozen, and then you, when you drink it, you just squeeze it out into a bit of apple juice or water or into your smoothie. You just squeeze out the frozen juice, you keep it in the freezer, take out the sachet in the morning, cut it open, just squeeze out that frozen juice, 
add it either to a neutral bullet with a bit of water or apple juice or lemon and then just blend it for five seconds and then you drink it. Then I want to talk to you about juicing and I want to actually give you a juice. I'm now going to juice for you. And why not do that? So you can see some of the benefits here of juicing. It's amazing. It's so powerful. And the reason why it's powerful is because I can take a whole cucumber in my little juice egg. Now you try and eat that plus two apples and the wheat grass. It's almost impossible to manage. But in a juice, you get it all. So one thing that I always like to talk about and remind people of that very often we are overfed but undernourished. We eat too much but of the wrong things. That doesn't do us any good. But you take one juice like this and it's enormous. Also it has very few um, calories. So if you need to lose a little bit of weight, that's fantastic. And you have all of these nutrients. So, um, do you want to take the pineapple? So basically, I put it in like this. I have a, I have a little corner in my kitchen. You can imagine in the morning, everyone is tired in the morning. But I've got like a basket like this standing and I just take my vegetables. And I wouldn't take too many fruits, but I always take vegetables. This is where you have the real goodness. And I make a juice in like two minutes. And it's amazing. And I asked my, my son and my husband, so do you want pink, yellow, or green today, or red? And I put some beetle in. And, um, and then we make it. Green is, of course, is the healthiest. It's always like that. <laughs> green is the color of health. So I just basically bung it in. Like, this machine is great because I don't have to peel too much. It doesn't take too long. I love that. So some apples, a couple of carrots. You can take in if you like, but you don't have to. I like it. And pineapple. Pineapple is interesting. It's sweet. You think it's full of sugar? And it is full of some sugars, but the thing is, it takes more energy to digest and metabolize a pineapple than the energy from the sugars. So actually, if you want to use, lose weight, you use pineapple. And it tastes amazing. So uh, it's got, as you can see, it's got a lot of very, very nice benefits as well. So you're literally having your own little... Yeah. So I put it like that. Normally, I also like to take uh, broccoli, the, the stem of the broccoli. I don't have any this time. That's enough. Right? And then comes the wheat loss. Um, ah, that's interesting. Huh. I used to see if we've got the wheat grass in the place. Yeah, I thought we had. Oh, yeah, you need to bring it. Would you put it, please, and get it? Yeah, so I saw you got the wheat grass from the, from the standard. So the point is, you now know about the benefits of pineapple. You know that you lose weight by it. It's amazing. The benefits of, cat, of, of cucumber and wheatgrass and celery is also that they are alkaline. Alkaline means that you raise the pH of your cellular water. So if you drink alcohol, you smoke, have coffee, processed foods or meats, then your blood and your cellular water is acidic. The pH is low. And that invites in illnesses, fatigue, no immune system, all of those things. But if you have alkaline blood and cellular water, then it's amazingly powerful and you just won't get the diseases. And wheatgrass juice, but also lemon, paradoxically, because it's obviously an acid, but in the body it actually becomes alkaline. And carrot, uh, cucumber, or cucumber are very, very alkaline. Amazing for your health. You take one of those in the morning and it will, you will be feeling full right into lunchtime and fully nurtured, incredible. So this is what I like to do. Let's just see where I have mine here. Yeah, yeah. Your table will um, we'll give you a little um, taste of So these are our products. We have many different types of products. We have berries, we have ginger and turmeric. You can come to our stand and I'll show you where the stand is in a minute. We have one with nettle. Beetroot is excellent for energy, for, for um, it has folate in it. So you know like the difference between natural foods and supplements? I did talk about some supplements before. The real difference is that we are of course from nature. We have a whole evolution. We are born and bred from nature. As I just told you about the, uh, the blood and the, and the uh, 
and the chlorophyll. When you are supplementing your body to take it the natural way, it's so much more effective. One good example is we're always told, particularly pregnant women, to take folic acid. But actually, we need folate, which is, I'm um, explaining the difference, but the folic acid, the acid everyone needs, because it's about cell, cellular rejuvenation. So remember when I talked to you about the killer cells, the T cells that go in and bubble up all of these ill cells that we have every second. We have these cells that need to be taken away because they're ill. And if they weren't taken away, they would just build up and we would get ill. The T cells need vitamin A to be produced. Beetroot is extremely rich in, oh yes, now I want to talk about the folate. So the, the supplements, if you ask you to take folic acid, like the supplement, it's not the same as folate. And folate is what you get from beetroot. The same about vitamin C, a supplement of vitamin C, ascorbic acid. That's not the molecular vitamin C that kale has or lemon has. So where you can take the natural foods because you actually get it the way the body wants you to have it. And also it's mixed. It's not just iron or just magnesium or just vitamin C. It's a mix. It has everything in a beautiful balance that only nature can achieve. And as we all know, if you want to have vitamin D, you need the vitamin C to help it being absorbed. So different vitamins will help absorption. absorption. So if you just take iron, you, you won't absorb it as well as if you took iron from spinach or from other natural products. And it's just the way it is. These are the, uh, some of the recipes, and I'm very, very happy to send them to you. Please remember to fill in with your email address and give it, give it to us, a little card, and I'll send you these recipes as well. There's an enormous amount of nutrients in there, and the health benefits are always linked. We always have our juices linked to benefits, to health benefits. So the blended green has also nettle in it. It's for tiredness, fatigue, increased mental and physical performance. These are things that I can't claim if I couldn't prove it. It's all linked to the very high levels of the different vitamins. These are boosters. We have different boosters which are on the go products. You can just drink, take it and drink it. Uh, and they also have benefits, energy, focus, vitality from the B vitamins, or the green one with magnesium, which is about health, endurance, and overall wellness. Magnesium is one of two minerals extremely important. Magnesium is responsible for 300 reactions in your body. 300. Everything from mental stability to sleep. It is also what gives the uh, myelin sheath on the nerve endings. So it makes nerve endings, the synapses, work faster and more efficient, which is all about mental capacity, memory. If you don't have enough magnesium, you just won't be so mentally alert. And remember, magnesium is an essential molecule in green things, and the greener, the more magnesium. And again, a supplement will never do the same thing. if there's products that I would particularly recommend for cancer. Yes, the wheatgrass. We have so many people with, uh, with cancer that come to us, so many clients. And again, I cannot claim that it will work because I'm not allowed. But the research, that's an enormous amount of research, because wheatgrass was discovered already in the 1940s. It's a long time ago. It was discovered in America by a biochemist. And he fed it to his chicken. At the time, it was like powder. It was the only thing they didn't know how to squeeze the juice out at that time. And they found that the liver, the kidneys were so much better, the thickness of the eggs were so much better. But also a lot of the, but yeah, also a lot of, um, some of the reasons why it works really for cancer, and there's a lot of research around that over all of these years, is that it oxygenates the cells. So for some reason, and I haven't quite found out why, the wheatgrass will attach, will help to attach more oxygen to your hemoglobin cells. So oxygen is transported more effectively in the body. And there's, if there's something that is really effective against cancers, then it's having cells that are oxygenated. When there's lots of oxygen on your cells, in your cells, the cancers can just not grow. It's not possible. One of the reasons is that um, oxygen will eliminate free radicals 
and the free radicals are those highly um, agitated molecules that go in and can bind to uh, all sorts of molecules into your DNA. And when it does that, then it, it damages your DNA. Because it has to react, because it's a free radical, it has to react. I want to now finish, because I know I have to. And I just want to explain to you about the, you also have a, a if you wanted to uh, purchase, or you can meet us at the stand, L237 is listed just over there. You can always, you can see it from here. This is just right there. Um, you can purchase here by us if, you're, if you like. We have a really good prices. Normally it's 49 pounds for a bag. A month supply today is 30 pounds per bag. So it's just a pound a sachet. And the more bags you purchase, if you like, uh, the cheaper they get. But we also have a juice club, so you can have it regularly sent. And you actually have the orders uh, load on your chair if you like to. Or you can just come to the stand and we can talk about it. My last answer to, to, to this question is, if you can't take fish oils for omega-3, could you do plants? Yes, you can. It's actually not as effective, because it happens that the omega-3 that you have in fish is the one that is most readily available for the body. But you can do flaxseed oil. It's good. It's not as good as it happens, but it's very good. Thank you. I'm here, and I'm also at the stand over there. Any questions you have, you're, you're very welcome. Remember to hand in your little note with your email address, and please come and see me. Sorry.